In this Google Docs tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make your first Google document. Once you've logged into Gmail or into your school's Google Apps for Education account, click on Drive. Okay, Drive is where you store all your cloud-based documents. So you'll be storing your spreadsheets, pictures, uh, presentations, everything gets stored here. Once you've clicked on Drive, you'll go over here and click on Create. Once you click on create, you'll get more options. You can make folders, documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and forms. We're going to start off just with documents, so click on document. It'll open in a new tab, and you'll see something that's kind of similar to Office Word, uh, minus all the bells and whistles. Once you start typing, my first document, you'll notice that it automatically saves. Every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. So this is handy. There's no actual file save button because everything's automatically saved up in the cloud, not on your thumb drive, not on your hard drive. When I start talk, doc, my first document. And just like in Office Word, there's lots of different options. When you roll your mouse over something, it'll tell you what it does. I can change my font. I can make it bigger, add some color, make it a bit more interesting. You can add some links. I can add a link to a new site. So add a link to cbc.ca. Now I have a link in my document. Another handy thing is for teachers, if you're commenting on someone's essay or work, you can add comments. So I can click here and say, hey, Jose, this needs some work. All right? So then the student can actually see that comment there. All right? So. Okay, I will add more. Another handy thing about Google Docs is that you can actually see the revision history. If you go up here and click on File and click on Revision History, I can see every time that I've made a change to this document. So this is perfect. Say I accidentally delete something or I want to see how often my student is working on this assignment. I can click on, okay, this is the first day of the assignment. Later they added this gave some feedback. Oh, they added a link here, uh, and they added some more. So this is perfect. You can see every time uh, a change has been made to the document. And you can also name this document My First Google Doc. Right. And just like in Word, you can add other things. I can click on Insert and add pictures. I can click on Table and add a spreadsheet as well. Okay, so there's lots of different things you can do with Google Docs. And this was your first one made. If you go back into your drive, you'll notice that it appeared now. I called this my first Google Doc. Click on recent Google Drive. It's already there, saved here. So I can click on this, and there it is. Now, let's say I want to share this with someone. Okay, because this is the big piece with Google Docs, is this collaboration ability. So I'm going to go up here and click on Share. Right now it's only private to me. Only I can see this. Click on this, and I get more options. Right now it's private. I can click on Change. So I can make this public on the web, allow anyone with a web link to get this, and because I'm logged into my Upper Grand District School Board account, I have some options so that only people on this board can see it. I'm going to keep it private for now. Well, I'll actually, I'll show you how, what happens if I do anyone with a link. Let's say I want anyone with a link to see it. Now, I'll get an option here. They can either view it, comment on it, or edit it. Edit it gives them the ability to name it. Uh, basically, they're uh, co-creators on it. If I click on view, the people can only see it. And that's really handy if, say, I'm sharing this assignment with my students and I don't want them to mess up my assignment. Um, just to follow the instructions, usually I'll just put view. Okay. So what happens here, if I click on save, it's going to give me a web link. So now that I have this web link, I can click on it, right click on it, and copy it, and then share that with my students that way. Or, let's say I wanted to make this private again. I can just share this with certain people. Let's say I wanted to share this with my friend Steve Winan. Now only he will get this document and only he can collaborate on it. 
And typically I'll add an email message. So Steve would get an email or email saying, hey, Jose Martinez has shared this document with, with you. Would you like to edit it with him? So I can click uh, again. I can give him the ability to view it or just edit it. Okay, I'm just going to cancel that. So that's probably the most powerful part of Google Docs is this ability to collaborate with someone else. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make your first Google form or survey.